Another day in the Karma Speed garage. We have some parts and some boxes we're gonna open up. These parts are from carparts.com. We've become good friends with them. We really appreciate them. We have links in the description if you guys wanna order these to fix your Mazda or any other car you might have. They have all mixed and models, bunch of stuff. Love those guys. So this car has a broken window regulator. It makes all kinds of weird noises. Maybe we can give them a little demo of that horrendous noise. Machine Gun Kelly. Easy to put laying down the fire. Oh boy. So this is just a factory replacement part. Regulator with the motor. Then right here, GPD brand. Blower motor. This car does not have air conditioning or heater, not because it doesn't work, simply because the motor that blows the air out the vents does not work. So this thing will create the airflow to come out of your vents. That needs to get replaced. Hopefully that's just it. Randall's good at air conditioning stuff on cars so we can figure out what else is wrong with it. As far as things that were dysfunctional when we bought the car, these were the only two things primarily that I'm aware of so far that are completely just non-existent working. So I'm excited to get these in. If you guys need car parts, carparts.com they ship quick most of the time they have better prices than anywhere else in town so if you want to save some money wait a day or two shipping's quick get the parts you need but let's get into the install let's show them how the ac don't work so right now we got our fan button we gotta turn this puppy on it does nothing dead she's dead how many blower motors do you think you've replaced in your life quite a few window so, regulators even more yep <laughs> Uh, these are gross. Dude, I ordered some, I'm gonna I'm spoil it right here. I ordered some sweet Cobb uh, WeatherTech floor mats for this thing. Yeah. Cobb branded WeatherTech, they're pretty rad. Oh yeah. So, if your window regulator doesn't work, regulator. if your window regulator doesn't work at all, you can't really do this step. However, I like to crack them a little bit. Some cars are different, but on this car, to get the window off the actual track on the motor, or the regulator itself, to get to that bolt, you need the window down just a little bit. You can pull it out and pull it down manually, but it's just a little easier doing it this way. And then I like to tape it up, just so it doesn't fall and break. Yes, I have had a window break on me. That was a customer car, so now I always tape them up to prevent that. So to start off, you have a small little tab or a little piece right here in the handle. You just want to get like a small pick, pry that open, then you can see the Phillips head screw in there. And then we have another one here in the door handle itself. And then you can take either a screwdriver or an impact like I have here. And then we'll just back these screws out. There's one. The other one. And now take a flathead and pry off this handle right here. Just like that. And then we will pull off this piece right here. And then now we can start pulling from the bottom of the door to release the clips. Just like that, I'll slide up. And you want to remove your plug for the window switch. And then now we'll go ahead and remove our door handle here. So if I remember right, yeah, so there's a little tab on the inside of here. It might be easier to use my pick. So right in here, there's a little tab. You want to pull that towards you. And then that piece right there comes up and then you'll just go ahead and slide these cables out of the way then we have a series of 10 millimeter bolts holding this piece inside of the door we're going to go ahead and remove all of those first we will go ahead and remove the window regulator motor we got three 10 millimeter bolts holding the motor on to the regulator Don't lose these screws right here because you will be reusing these for the new motor. Just gonna pull that off like so. I'll go ahead and remove all these bolts. There's like a little adhesive behind this. You just wanna break all that loose. One more bolt down here under the speaker. 
can feel. Pop that out. Pop that out just to give yourself a little more room. Now we can pull the regulator out. So like I said, to drop the window down a little bit is to get to this bolt right here. So without the windows all the way up, this bolt essentially it ends up like behind this panel here. But like I said, with the motor out, you'll be able to actually lift and lower the motor manually. I just like to do it this way. It's a little easier. So the regulator is free. It's definitely worn out. It's not quite broken yet, but. Probably the motor then, huh? It's probably something hung up in there. These zip ties are just to hold this motor in place for shipping. So no, pop the motor out like that. You notice there's some grease on these two pieces that meet. They are plastic. So now what we'll do, manually lift this up. Kind of into the same position. Now that we got the old regulator out, we're gonna go ahead and take our now dirty regulator, throw this puppy in, clean up the grease. So you want these bolts right here to be sticking towards you. These actually mount into this plastic piece right here. So we'll go ahead and stick this in like so. Get this out of our way. Pop this in secure. So now we'll get our bolts. Drive it in by hand. Lightly take the impact and snug it up. Right here, this is what the motor bolts to. There are some tabs in here you have to line up. I'm going to take your nuts, put these on here. And we'll start putting our bolts in that hold this to the door itself. I'm going to take our new motor, pull out this little protector, and we'll line up the three holes according to how it is on here, which it looks like. So, you may have to move the window a little bit. Just like that. Nice. Oh man. That's what we didn't want to happen. So now, we take it back off. So to avoid the regulator from popping out, like what we just what just happened to me, I went ahead and bolted, just put one in for now to hold it in place. You can put all three if you want, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back in now so we don't have to worry about that again. So I couldn't figure out how to get this thing back in. So essentially this little clip right here, really the only thing, the structural piece that holds this into the door, there's a tab right here. You'll see a hole and that's essentially the main structure point. And there's a piece at the bottom that you want it that locks in as well. So when you remove this, you don't want to pull this out all the way, just enough to where you can pull it out and just click it back in to, so it doesn't come apart. This thing right here, it has this little piece you can grab. This has the capability to slide all the way out. But what Randall's explaining is you only want to pull it up like what a freaking probably, quarter inch yeah probably like just like i said just enough to get it out and then just click it back into place so you don't lose its position because behind here this mechanism there's a spring here and if you take all that apart we found out that it was a pain but we got it back together barely yeah so it's We're back good. in now so now we just gonna slap our door panel back on nice and toasty got it warmed up for you Plug in our little connector here for our window switch. So now you're gonna want to put the top in first. Get your window seals in. And then you can start lining up your clips. Once one's lined up, you just start smacking it. Should we test the window before you get too far? Yeah, it'll, it'll work. It held as up. long as it's not a bad part. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. Ready? Yep. 
All right, well, it works. Sweet. Window regulator check. Blower motor next. More awkward parts to install because they're in places that are hard to get to. But like we said, Randall's done this one as well a million times. This is gonna be a tough one to film. So bear with us. So what do you got? What do you so think? we have a shield down here. You can see right here. We're gonna go ahead and pop that off. Looks like we have a little tab there and a tab over there. Looks like that. I don't see a blower motor in here. So we assume this would take about an hour, max. Randall looks up the book time on it in his mechanic pro demand software. How long did it say? 5.2. Five hours? Yeah. This should be fun. This off. Now it looks like it's one of those screws. Pull this. Love box left. Is the blower motor right there? It's inside of the inside of the box. Whatever that means. The H back box. Which down is in there. Back up in here, yeah. Fun. Do I have to pull the center piece of the dash out? No. Shouldn't have to. You got something for your knees, bro. Yeah. Well, that'll help. Thank you. Yep. So far, what I removed, we had a fuse box that was mounted with all these connectors about right here. And then we had a DVD player assembly looking thing mounted up here. And then now you can see back there, right up in there is our blower motor. So this black piece right here, we have to pull that out. You know it's a rough day when this man is hanging out in the back seat. I'm dying. <laughs> this hurts. This angle is brutal. How many of these things you crack since uh, you started this install? Just one, just one so far. This is number two? That is number one. This is the first? Yeah. You said you downed it. Just about. This is not good, fam. Not good. You know, this ain't good, but at least we can get a good interior clean now. Yeah, no kidding. It's gotten out of hand, fam. Cleared out, the, cleared out the garage. All right, so we just got the blower motor out. Let me tell you, this, when was the last time you did something this stupid? Like, never. This is probably the worst mechanic job Randall and I have ever done. As far as just like annoying, definitely not like the hardest. Mentally, just no space, hurts your hands, impossible. Randall's about to test his blower motor to see if it's even busted. Hopefully it is so we don't have our feelings hurt. Oh man. So it works? It works. Does it work correctly? Yeah. Then what would be broken? That's it didn't even it doesn't sound that healthy. Is that how they normally sound? The blower resistor. One of the parts of the new one. Do you feel stupid right now? No. <laughs> oh, that one sounds nice. Yeah, better. So I mean at least it was still worth doing this. Yeah. The only way to go about this blower install is another guy's video. I'm gonna have him linked in the description. I talked to him on Instagram last night. Let's see what his name is. Kamal, thank you so much for putting that video out. It was the only reason Randall and I probably got this out and you kept me sane during this in insane install. So you wanna change out the blower motor in a Mazda Speed 3. Congratulations, you're about to embark on one of the worst installs of your entire life. This tops Randall and I, everything we've ever done. Is it the heaviest, is it the hard? No, it's just the tedious, most annoying install we've ever had. I can't believe, I can't believe we even got it out. We were, I was thinking about towing this thing to the Mazda dealership for a second. So I think this might help a little bit because probably you're not gonna like, you're gonna be like us where you get to the point where you, there's no return, you're gonna have to figure it out yourself. So hey, remove everything you can. The way these dash bars are set up with, you know, removing the dash, like this is your dash bar. Normally you can just unbolt these from the side of the car 
that's not the case in this and all the plastic and all of this is attached to the dash bar so you can't just pull the whole dash out get to the ac box you really only have one option take off the gas pedal which over here we're not even going to show you how like if you you need to know how to do this yourself if you get in there so it's pretty straightforward remove the gas pedal loosen your brake pedal and then you know you're gonna have to stick your arm up there and do these things we're about to show you so let's go over by the bench okay so i'm gonna try and orientate this so i'm upside down by the gas pedal and brake pedal and clutch pedal on my back now my left hand is reaching up in and touching this and now let's get close on this so here's how this thing's in there so i'm reaching with my left hand what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this you're gonna try and disconnect this tube actually first and it's actually really difficult and this thing bends quite a bit and i did like really tweak on this thing and i got it to break off the the part that's you know under the car i don't know where the wherever this attached to the little spot for the air and then the other part attaches to the actual blower motor once you get this side off then you pull this side off and get it out of the way it's gonna suck you're gonna bend that you're gonna think you're gonna break it it won't break probably so then the next spot is this thing is orientated in there like that you're gonna grab well your left hand you're gonna grab this tab and pull back on it this tab right here this will release this out of here and this does not just fall because you have your electrical connection right here. So right there is your electrical connection. This thing is a tough piece of plastic, tough. It chews up your finger bad and it's not fun. And you really can't wear gloves up in there because you can't feel anything and it's all based off of feel. So once you get this off of there, because this wire is still attached, this thing is just gonna dangle. So you have to push it up out of the way. So then this is kind of sitting up here. I'm gonna set this over here. So now you're just dealing with this and that lock ring is just sitting up here out of the way. So then you're sticking your finger and you're trying to undo this. Well, we ended up breaking off the tab and then I was able to just push my finger against this clip on the side to the point where i was like this is gonna hurt so bad but it's the only option so i press on as hard as i could it goes click and then randall pulled on a little bit and it pulled it out and randall was on the other side in the passenger seat reaching around from the other side so on the passenger side you can see this side of it which is this side and randall's holding it right here i'm over here with my left hand pushing on it and then over here i said it clicked and then he yanks and pulls it out and so that's how we got this blower motor out Hopefully we can get the new one in, but honestly, that's all we got from this other video. I'm gonna leave a link in the description from Kamal. His videos in the description. He was super helpful. I messaged him on Instagram. He gave me a little bit of confidence boost that I need and uh, we got it out. So be super duper patient. You can figure it out probably. I'm hoping this install goes smooth of the new one. We did test, this was still working and it turned out to be what that's actually broken is the, what's it called Randall? Blower resistor. The blower resistor was just completely shot. So this thing wouldn't spin at all. But then once we tested this, this one is not in great shape. So I'm glad we're replacing it because we're giving this car away. Carmaspeed.com, get us some entries for us grinding. We're a day and a half in on just changing this out. So I'm hoping that we can finish it today. And it's a two day install for just a, a simple blower motor. So if that doesn't get you guys motivated go to karmaspeed.com get your entries to win this car the end of march it ends we'll call someone the first week of april to let you know that you won this car we'd love for one of you guys to have a nice working air conditioning unit and heater because we changed this and this is the worst car we've ever seen usually they're right under the dash on the passenger side and they're really easy to get to for whatever reason we picked the one car that this was broken and that isn't normal so it was a nightmare so anyways that's a long story short that should give you all the information you need to know to fix the blower motor on a first and second gen mazda speed 3. the next step is we got our new resistor i would have preferred to order this from carparts.com but we didn't have time so i went and picked it up down the street because we didn't think we we're going to need to replace this we thought it was for sure all the blower motor but this is part of it and we don't got time to waste because that box right there has the vinyl for what we're going to wrap this car randall already got started on some of the prep to smooth out some of the crappy parts of the clear coat so I can go to town and wrap this thing. We got air. Is it working properly? Oh yeah. Yeah. We did it right. Sweet. Now we just gotta put it back together. In preparation for us installing a downpipe, we installed the Cobb Catback exhaust. Really nice tone really nice piece great welds go check out this video of us installing it seeing the exhaust system up close this is a great option for the mazda speed threes and you need to know everything about it if you're thinking about getting entered into winning this car go check it out